Vitamins in these foods can stop diabetes complications. Hi, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist practicing in Florida. And today we are diving into a very important topic. Diabetes complications and how we prevent them. Even if you're having some blood sugar spikes occasionally or maybe even often. As we all know, diabetes comes with a lot of complications. And let's be real, none of us want to deal with those extra headaches, food aches, eye aches. You get the picture. I have patients coming to me the first time, seeing me first time with charcoal neuropathy. They're already messed up. Their joints are messed up. They have ulcers. They Some of them come to me first visit already blind. I can't take it. I hate it. I don't know why these people were not informed. I don't know how did they get there. It just breaks my heart. That's why always make sure that we also approach this holistically as well. Not just take this medicine, take that medicine. And then eventually they hate it and they quit. So you need to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin B, first of all, right? Along with your good diet, low carb diet. Now I know what you're thinking, you know, B vitamins, what's that gonna do, right? What the heck does that have to do with diabetes? Well, my friend, listen up. There are few key B vitamins that play a crucial role in preventing diabetes complications. And no, doctors don't talk about it. They just want to push medications. We know this is how it is in the United States, right? I don't blame them. This is how they are trained. So lucky for us, these B vitamins actually can be found in some delicious foods. Yeah, if you listen to the carnivore and keto guys, you're not going to get these vitamins. You just have to keep popping pills to get the vitamin and you will not enjoy any of these foods in your lifetime anymore because some guy told you that you can only eat meat and that's the only food that will make you healthy. And you tell me that's not nuts. Anyhow, so legumes like beans and lentils. I know sometimes it will spike your blood sugar. That means that you really need to be careful about everything else. So, if, Or maybe you're in deep trouble that you don't understand. It's not the lentil's fault that your blood sugar is spiking. You are in trouble. Your body is not making any insulin whatsoever. If you don't make any insulin at all, you don't have to even eat. Your blood sugar will continue to go up because your liver will turn the protein into glucose. So don't tell me that lentil is spiking your blood sugar because your blood sugar can go up even without eating anything at all. All right. Anyhow, so the lentils, beans are packed with thiamine and other B vitamins. I know whole grains can be a problem, so you have to be very limited to whole grains if they are really whole grain, like if they're not processed, you can consider using them, right? Liver, salmon, great sources of these important vitamins but i get it sometimes it'll be like you know not everyone is a big fan of liver although i hear it is fantastic with some fava beans a nice chanty anyone why not try it and maybe you're not able to chow down on salmon or whole grains for one or the other reason because whole grains you know you cannot find really unprocessed whole grains a lot unless you're making it at home so what is a person to do then right well i have two words for you consider using benfetiamine yes it is a big word i know it's not the name of the indie brand of your hipster nephew keeps raving about, but benfetiamine is a real thing. It's a fat soluble analog of vitamin B1. It is a game changer when it comes to diabetes complications. Just right now, if you want to stop the video and come back to the video, of course, but go to PubMed, type benfetiamine and diabetes complications. You will find a lot of articles about it. And here's a secret sauce. It increases the level of what we call intracellular, which means within the cell, thiamine diphosphate. Okay, now hang on there with me. It is uh, not a chemistry exam, so it's just a fancy way of saying that the benfetiamine helps our bodies use B1 more effectively. Why does that matter? Well, it turns out that the B1, our friend thiamine, is a crucial player in the enzyme process that helps prevent the buildup of harmful sugar byproducts in our bodies. So when you're not using the sugar, that sugar turns into something in your body. Nothing stays the same in your body, right? So with more B1 around and ready for action, like the benfetiamine, these sugar byproducts do not stand a chance because they're toxic. You don't wanna give them a chance. That's how benfetiamine helps to prevent diabetes complications. 
and why it is worth considering if your diet is not giving you enough B1. Now, isn't that just that bee's knees, right? If you cannot eat these foods due to dietary restrictions or allergies or whatnot, or you don't simply don't like them, don't worry, there is still a way for you to get your daily dose of B vitamins. Now, we have sugar MD neuropathy support, a lot of people get those, but in addition to that, or separately, also have bamphetamine resourced from a very reliable source, uh, purity tested. Now, this supplement is a game changer for those with diabetes because it provides that necessary B1 to help prevent the complications. Not always, right, but it's something to help it. So I'm not saying this is a bulletproof, you take B1 and just go do whatever you want, eat whatever you want, that's not what I'm saying, right? But it's a good preventative measure. So Sugar MD's high quality benfetamine supplement, you can, with that, you can rest assured that your body is getting the best support possible to keep those pesky complications at bay. Maybe one day you will even be able to enjoy some liver and fava beans, then you don't have to take the supplements, right? But I hear it's not so bad, you know, just give it a try. Until then, you know, benfetamine can be your best friend, or if you're not able to have that every week, you know, you should use your supplements for that. So get that extra helping hands of the benfetamine it's going to be a win-win situation. Now, I hear you asking sometimes, why should I choose the Sugar MD's Benfetiamine over the countless other options sprinkled across the internet? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, not all Benfetiamine supplements are created equal. Just like you wouldn't trust a random stranger on the street claiming to sell some gold bars out of their trench coat, right? You shouldn't trust just any old supplement online. Sugar MD's benfetamine boasts higher purity than the cheap stuff you might stumble upon during a 3 a.m. internet shopping spree. Just like the difference between a Rolex and a knockoff you buy in a back alley, the quality really matters here. The lower quality supplements may not deliver the full benefits of B1. It will be less effective, less pure, diluted, etc., just to make it cheap. Okay, so don't be that cheap guy who wants to buy the cheapest stuff on the internet. At SugarMD, we always prioritize your health above all. We get our stuff inspected by FDA. Although FDA say they don't inspect it, they do. Although they say don't, they don't say anything about supplements, they do. And we voluntarily work with the FDA to make sure that everything we do is within the guidelines. And if there's something wrong with it, we'll do a recall, we'll do fix it, we'll throw it like, you know, it is what is important to us is your priority. So we do not want to bring anything to the market that is not pure. And that is what you deserve, right? So with sugar and bees benefit, I mean, you're not just buying a supplement, you are investing in a higher quality of life. So cheers to that. As always, remember to keep things lighthearted and humorous, even when tackling the serious topics like diabetes. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, share, and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Just click on the next video right there. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.